So, where is video conferencing used? Well, it's used in education. It's used in medicine, where in medicine, what they do is they have meetings about their patients through video conferencing. You can also exchange digital copies of x-rays. You can even, doctors can visit rural locations via video conferencing. That means they don't have to travel hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours to get to see a patient. These people live miles and miles and miles away from any civilization, really. So instead of having to travel in the car, they can actually see each other through video conferencing and have a doctor's appointment or consultation, shall I say. It's used in interpreting services. So if you've got a patient from a different country who does not speak the language very well, you can actually have a video conferencing with a specialist who can speak that language from another country so we can translate. And finally, you can have meetings, well, shall I say talks with experts or consultation experts. So this will allow you as a normal doctor to basically pass on your concerns to someone who's more specialized than you via video conferencing. And also finally, which I haven't got here, video conferencing can be used in business meetings, which is the first thing you should really think about.